All right, my friends, here we are. It's time for the challenge. We are on step number five of six of this first lesson for our Robot Trainer course. And what it's asking us to do, as you can see here, is program the driving base to move 84 centimeters or 33 inches. So what I want to do here is I want you to figure this out on your own. And if you're like 99% of the world, you'll probably just kind of plug and chug. But what I want to do here in this particular video, and you can pause it and come back to it later, I want you to try to figure out on your own, is I want to show you how you can teach math and some concepts that will make life easier in the long run. Now, we're just doing a very simple task of just moving straight for 33 inches. But when you're in the first Lego League or you try to do some more complicated obstacles and courses and turning, like you really want to be precise and you want to create some code that is really getting at what it is you need. So... I'm going to dive into that here right after this word when I say banana. Banana. Okay, so a couple things that I want to show you and highlight to here. You have these white pieces on your wheels. What these are designed to do is help you keep track of how far your wheel is moving in terms of rotations. And so you can make a little notch there and help see. So as you're watching your robot go on a course or a path, you can kind of see how far it needs to go or additional ways to move. The other thing that's really nice, and it's going to be really hard to show you here in this video, but on all Lego tires right here on the rim, what you're going to see is some numbers. And the standard wheels that come in the Lego EV3 Mindstorms kit for education is the numbers 56 by 28. So what this is going to do, or what it's telling you, is that we have wheels that are 56 millimeters in diameter. So if we were to set up a, this ruler here, you can see we're right around, just right around five and a half centimeters. I know this is not super precise, but 5.6 centimeters is what we've got. And we know in order to figure out movement and distance, we need to convert diameter to circumference to do some calculations and we're going to do some math calculations. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is to help kids understand this because you might have a classroom where you've got various wheels for kids to choose from. And so another way to do that if you don't want to teach the diameter and then conversion with you know with pi to get to circumference is you could have them take a string or some other device here there's just some wrapping paper things I think I've got here and you can have them just go right to the circumference so I can kind of take this number here this is what I've got and I could then just lay this down and I can see now approximately at about 17 centimeters or I've done this many times we should be at 6.9 inches so let's see how accurate I was with my fat thumbs here so yeah, we're right, almost right there. So this tire, I just know from many years of work, it's 6.91 inches for the circumference. But we could go that way. The other way that you could do is on your brick, if you go all the way over to where you kind of see like the pancake, that's the third option over like with the, the two by three grid of dots. There's an option there called port view. And when you go on the port view, you can choose your motors. So right now I'm on motor B, and it's going to show me degrees. But I can hit the middle button, and I can change that to rotations if I want to. Um, and so then what you're able to do here is I could set up a ruler as well. And if I do rotations, let's just do that. I can see that right now my screen, it might be hard for you to see, is at zero. And so now, if I go through here and I'm paying attention to where my white piece of my wheel is, and I do one rotation, I can see that I'm right at, again, it's almost 6.9 inches. And on my screen, it shows me I did one rotation. 
So I know that approximately one rotation goes about seven inches. And then I could then go and calculate that. And this is really important, again, if you're using various wheels to really quickly get to some solutions and just help the kids understand the math behind how we get to a circumference for the motors to move. All right, so we took a look here, again, at the diameter number on inside the wheel. We talked about using this to get one rotation. We talked about string wrapping around to get the circumference that way. And then going into port view, picking rotation of degrees, moving it one rotation to find out how far it moves on the ruler. Okay, so those are just a couple simple ways to get, get the information you need to. So we're not just plugging and chugging and guessing. Uh, we want kids to understand the math and the science behind it. What I'm going to do next in the next video is show you how to write code that does all the math. It's a little over the top, but I want you to see how we can do and teach math concepts within a robotics unit. So there's your start. I need you to go ahead and be thinking about how you're going to get to 84 centimeters, 33 inches. And over in the Slack channel, share what your approach is. How did you go about getting that achieved? And then, you know, obviously you're going to showcase your robot going that distance as well. But the next video, I'm going to show you and walk you through how to do some math. I'm <laughs> sorry.